Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Little and I'm here with part two of the third installment of my new podcast, Weekly Poker Hand, where I go over a hand that I play and in part two of each Weekly Poker Hand, I'm going to go over my opponent's hand and explain what they do and if I agree or disagree with their play. And if you saw part one of this episode, you will know that I'm probably going to disagree with this queen seven play. So let's check it out. It folds around to my opponent who raises to two, to raises to 60 chips out of his 3,000 chip stack with queen seven of hearts. And right off the bat, I really dislike this play. If my opponent had something like queen nine of hearts or nine seven of hearts or 10 seven of hearts, something like that, I would certainly be okay with it. But with queen seven is just not very good. The cards are separated. If you get a seven, it's probably not going to be good. And even if you get a queen, it could not be good. So I incredibly dislike this raise. When Jay Card Shark over here, that's me, raises to 300, you have an extraordinarily easy fold with Queen 7 suited. Um, whenever you raise these hands, you have to realize you're purely trying to either steal the blinds or get one call so you can continuation bet the flop and pick up the pot a lot of the time. When this situation occurs, you really just have to get out of the way. There is no point at all in continuing in this hand. So. My opponent's pre-flop raise was pretty bad, and the call of this re-raise is atrocious. This is the big mistake in this hand that my opponent made. And interestingly enough, you can usually find one really big mistake in your opponent's hand whenever they, fi they figure out a way to stack off with a hand that's extraordinarily weak. And this is the key turning point right here. On the flop, the flop comes 9-6-2. I bet 7-60 and my opponent shoves. And I actually think this is a perfectly fine play. Once there is 1,700 chips in the pot, you should be going after it with all of your might when you have a flush draw. The only way to get full value in the spot and to maximize, your, and the way you get full value out of a draw is to maximize your fold equity, is to go all in in this situation. If you call here, there are going to be a lot of turns where I'm just going to shove and then you'll be forced to fold. And that's not what you want. You really want to just go ahead and go all in in this situation and hopefully force Jay Card Shark to fold something like Ace Jack. That would be a pretty big success. Obviously, Jay Card Shark's never folding an overpair, but um, you can't get him off over cards. So I do like the shove here, and Jay Card calls with the, queen, with the pocket kings and takes all your money. But the big spot where this, uh, where the big error in this hand was both the preflop raise and the call of J Carr's re-raise. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been Jonathan Little for the third episode of Weekly Poker Hand. If you guys have any questions or comments, or would, if you would like me to review one of your hand histories, feel free to email them in to seek, uh, support at jonathanlittlesecrets.com, and I will possibly review it in one of these podcasts. This has been Jonathan Little. hope you've enjoyed it.